Terry Allen is going to be inducting Mr. Tom Burke, wrestling historian. It was the age of Kay Fabian when I first met Tom Burke, 1972 to be exact. I was publishing a wrestling newsletter and Tom was writing for Wrestling Review and Ring Wrestling Magazine. We've been in contact, first met at the WFIA convention held at the Madison Hotel in Boston the same weekend as a uh, garden show featuring uh, Pedro versus Lou Albano in a bloody steel cage match. That weekend started a friendship that has endured almost 40 years. It was October 27, 1959 when Tom attended his first pro wrestling show and he has been hooked ever since. It would take the rest of the night to talk about Tom's accomplishments and involvement in pro wrestling, so I won't. But, <laughs> but Tom is often referred to as a wrestling historian. In many circles, he is considered a the wrestling historian. In 1964, Tom began writing for Wrestling Review, Ring Wrestling Magazine, and many other magazines. Back then, magazines really meant something. There was no internet. It was the primary way that fans and even wrestling promoters knew what was going on in wrestling outside of their territory. A good article in a wrestling magazine in the 60s and 70s could help propel the, the career of a wrestler. Tom even wrote for these magazines while stationed overseas in Germany, France, and England. He attended pro wrestling tournaments, giving American fans insight into something that was totally different. In 1970, Tom moved to New York to work in the office of the influential Ring Wrestling Magazine. He became associate editor and then finally editor of Ring Wrestling Magazine. In addition, Tom published the Global Wrestling Newsletter for 15 years. I used to love receiving the newsletter that was just chock full of results from around the country, plus other information. Tom has also published the All Souls newsletter for 27 years now, honoring those who have passed. Tom also served on the board of the Cauliflower Alley Club for almost 10 years. Tom's involvement in wrestling was not strictly behind the keyboard. Tom has been a ring announcer, a wrestling commissioner, a manager as Ludwig von Spischer, an INS agent, a character named Seamus McMahon, and much more. He booked shows and talent for Grand Prix and even a Nigerian all-girl tour. Ask him about that. Tom's famous office is packed wall to wall with probably the greatest collection of wrestling memorabilia known to man, dating back to the very beginning of pro wrestling and covering wrestling worldwide, while specializing, of course, in Tony Santos and Jack Pfeffer. In fact, Tom was the catalyst in getting Jack Biles and Walter Kowalski together, which in essence bridged the gap in New England independent wrestling between Santos's big time wrestling and Walter's all-star wrestling in the 70s. Back then, there was pretty much the WWF and one independent promotion in New England. My, how things have changed. For the better, I'm not so sure. Tom feels that his greatest accomplishment, though, in wrestling is the diverse and fascinating group of close friends that he has garnered over the years. Just to speak to Tom brings me back to the day when wrestling was magical. Welcome to the New England Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame, my friend Tom Burke. Thank you, Terry, uh, and also thank you, Joe, for having this um, situation here, getting having me honored. I think that we all share something, and as Terry mentioned, my first wrestling match was December 27th, 1959, in Holyoke, Massachusetts at the Valley Arena, which had been running wrestling shows since the 1920s. When I walked into that arena, I felt something. I felt an excitement in the air. The feel of love, hate, booze, cheers, blood, the smell of victory or defeat. It embraced my soul. And I think for all you folks out there that have attended wrestling in older arenas that also prevailed in a new antiseptic venues around the country, I'm hoping that still continues. I'm a bit older than some of you folks in here, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, Chief, but uh, I'm uh, I, I my, my 52nd year as a uh, professional wrestling fan. I started for Ring Wrestling Magazine at the age of 16 when I was a sophomore in high school and continued for many years. When you do something you love, time flies and you, you lose the concept of time. This was brought to my attention two years ago when I was at the Mobile Wrestlers Reunion when Paul Bearer introduced me to his 20-year-old son. And he said, this is Tom Burke. I've been reading his stuff since I was in middle school. 
I, I, as years progressed, the business has changed. I took a new road and became involved in the Cauliflower Alley Club and a member of the, uh, the Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame in Amsterdam. Some seven years ago, I started to attend local cars in my area under various promotional banners, BTW, EWA, Kevin Landry's Promotions, and others. I want to thank those guys for opening the door and letting me uh, come in and say hi, and also to the older promotions, to Howie Finko and the WWF and their courtesies over the years. So I want to thank everyone. I see, I didn't realize Ebony was Eric from Slammers until he started talking about Dr. Jerry Graham. There's so many people here that I've seen over the years. It's just fantastic meeting Ann Lake and Ruth and everything. But I'm, not, I'm gonna hit the road here. I wanna say thank you to everyone. God bless you and cheer on.